Yo, what's good though? Soul here and welcome back to the story mode. So for anybody that doesn't know, really quick, I would like to shamelessly plug my review. That's been up for a couple of days now and I put a lot of work into that so I would really appreciate it if you guys took the time to check that out. I know it's a little on the lengthy side but I promise you it's got some pretty interesting and entertaining stuff in there that you probably would like to hear about if you're coming to this video here. So go ahead and do me that favor really quick. I would super, super, super appreciate that. And if you like videos just like that or possibly just like this one, then likes, comments, and subscriptions are the best way to let me know. I know it's very weird to plug that in at the beginning of a video. I don't usually do that, but it's been a very weird month and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing a couple of different things here and there, so don't mind me. So anyway, as you guys saw in the title and everything like that, this has become a very widespread topic within the Pokemon community for years now. And obviously, there's only two sides of the fence. You either want voice acting or you really don't want voice acting. Now, I've definitely talked about it before in a couple of previous videos, but if it wasn't clear, I really do want voice acting. I've been playing Pokemon games my entire life and I feel like personally we've evolved to the point where we could actually utilize it, but I've never understood why we never took the leap to do so. I was never able to pinpoint what a specific problem was in adding voice acting. Is it a money thing? Was it a nostalgia thing? I have no idea, but one thing is for certain. The way that this was handled in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is downright criminal and frankly even worse than Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is something that I was originally planning on mentioning in the review, but A, it would have taken up too much time, and B, since no other Pokemon game has ever had voice acting, this is much more of a preference thing than anything, since this isn't something anybody expected, and while it's been talked about 9 times out of 10, I still felt that this was a completely separate situation as opposed to what's available in the game itself. Just placing it in amongst the review didn't really feel like it would bring enough attention to my problem at hand. Do you get what I'm getting at? But anyway, it's not there, it's here now, and we're gonna go ahead and talk about all of my issues when it comes to the voice acting situation in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, to an extent, there's a part of me that understands why there isn't voice acting in these games. Like I said a moment ago, the mainline games have never had any semblance of voice acting, so I never really expected that to happen. One of the biggest selling points of Pokemon was that you were having your own adventure, especially in the earlier games. When you would go from city to city, town to town, trainer to trainer, route to route, you would be interacting with these characters and just by reading their dialogue, you could give them their own little personality and vibe in your head. You could picture and imagine what these characters might sound like. I completely and totally understand the vision here. If you're placing yourself within the shoes of the main character, it's only fair that while you're playing the game, you're expected to visualize and, you know, imagine what these other characters would sound like and how they would interact with you and things like that. I remember getting a comment a long, long time ago about how somebody would prefer no voice acting because they could have their own interpretations for voices of the game. And that is something I, I fully get, I, I understand. And something else that I'm not 100% sure on, but I believe I read somewhere a very long time ago, was that one of the developers said that they believe that adding voice acting would take away from the experience of a real Pokemon game, and it would take them away from the immersion. So, that makes sense. I could see why they haven't done it, because if they do live by that philosophy, then why would they want to change something like that, you know what I mean? But you see, that idea right there brings me right to my issue. We have transitioned to full 3D with full animations that imply that these characters are actually making sounds. We are no longer in the era of Pokemon where everything is top down and completely left up to pixels. As ironic as it is to say this, we have taken an insane leap from the Game Boy era versus the Switch era. So in turn, almost nothing is left to the imagination anymore because we can visually see what's actually happening. And again, it's very ironic from an animation standpoint, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We can't just imply what is happening with these characters through text anymore. We can visually see their personalities in front of us because they are fully animated now. Which is why, personally, I find it legitimately unacceptable to have fully animated conversations with nothing but the sound effects of walking and physical interactions. Frankly, it is borderline stressful to be watching that. If it weren't for the fact that they added music and other sound effects to the game, I would have assumed that I went deaf. And that in of itself is very frustrating and downright distracting because it takes so much away from the game. 
for very specific moments of the game instead of thinking like, wow, this was a really cool or awesome moment, or wow, this was incredibly sad, I continuously thought, wow, this moment would have been amazing with some kind of voice acting, because right now, it's super awkward. Now I actually thought about doing a video on this very topic about a month ago because a couple of videos surfaced that kind of exactly proved my point. What's the matter with it? <laughs> Scared of heights. That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> no need to be scared if we go together. <laughs> oh. How does that logic work? Get, Get on! on! It is up to you now, kid. AI Sound switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please, defeat me. At, at last. At last, my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. First off, shout out to Dr. Bonehead and the rest of the team that they grabbed to do this. Y'all did an amazing job and I would love to see some more work from you guys. I only used like one or two clips here, so if you want to see the rest of these videos, I'm going to link both of them in the description below. So make sure to go check those out. Those are extremely well done. Now, Dr. Bonehead here also posted a video on Twitter comparing their voice acting versus the original scenes from the game. When you put those scenes side by side, it is laughably awkward when you hear absolutely nothing but the sounds of like shoes scraping against the floor and stuff like that when they're obviously talking. It's so weird. And now whenever I play those games, it's just going to be absolutely jarring as to why they have these cutscenes and no voices to go along with them. Now, here's my thing. In the mainline games, they've never done it. And if that quote's true, that means that they probably are never going to do it. However, at the same time, it's kind of frustrating because almost every other media of Pokemon that has these characters involved, give them voices. I would imagine that the Pokemon company would like fans of Pokemon to try out other medias involving Pokemon, right? Not just one or the other. So why is it in the anime and in Pokemon Masters I can physically hear Leon saying champion time when in the main game that he was introduced in, we just have to imagine him saying it? That doesn't make any sense. I know it's weird to bring up Galar, but it's only because Galar has shown up in the anime. However, I do have a prime example for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in of itself, Iono. They have fully animated videos of Iono, who is basically a very famous YouTuber in the world of Pokemon, hosting like a live stream. And obviously, within these videos, guess what? She's fully voice acted. And another side thing I mentioned is that she shares a voice actor with Jolene Cujo and Power from Chainsaw Man, something that I will just never let down. Now isn't that super weird? In the game itself, she doesn't say a damn word. You go through her entire gym challenge and you don't hear a peep. But in these specific advertisements for this game, she has a voice. A voice that fits her personality, tone, and energy. So why? Why is it that I have to imagine this character having a voice when you already gave her a pre-established voice? What's the purpose in that? Because I don't think I get it. Earlier I mentioned that I had read a long time ago that quote in which developers don't believe that the games need voice acting because of the player's involvement. They don't want to take away our immersion in any way shape or form by potentially adding voice acting. 
Now, I'm not 100% sure if that quote actually exists or not because I don't remember where I've read it or where the source came from. However, it wouldn't surprise me if it was a real quote. Now, here's the thing though. I don't believe that they actually care about the immersion of the players. And I say that because if that were actually the case, then why is there already an abundance of different problems within these games that have constantly taken away from my experiences with these games? Forget keeping us immersed in the world, make the world work first. And I'm not even just talking about the actual world in of itself, I'm talking from a technical standpoint. It's already a problem that half of these cities are empty with NPCs that do absolutely nothing. But the problem on top of that is the frame rate dropping to a slideshow every single time anybody else on the screen pops up. Some of this stuff is definitely things that are going to have to be talked about in a different video, but you get what I'm getting at. But like I mentioned in my review, ever since our transition to the Switch, there have been a multitude of times where my immersion has been broken by Pokemon games. A lot of these recent games have way too many problems that sit there and remind me that I am a grown ass man playing games with flaws and issues. So if that quote is real or that's a real philosophy amongst the Pokemon company, I'm telling y'all right now, you don't need to worry about that. The immersion has been broken forever now. Now the reason that I wouldn't put it past them to put out a statement like that is because that's their way of saying we don't want to spend time or resources on voice acting. They wouldn't want to waste money on voice actors that they would have to keep consistent, and it would waste time since voice production takes work, and that could easily get in the way of their yearly releases. So with that in mind, it wouldn't surprise me if they made a statement like that some time ago as a way of saying, nope, we don't want to do that because we're trying to make more money. That makes us lose money, and that makes us lose time. So, it all adds up. However, it's not like this is something particularly new. They always do this thing where they act like they sacrifice something to make our immersion in the game better. They did that very specific thing in Sword and Shield with the dex cut because they were acting like they were giving us better animations and stuff like that. They did not deliver. And recently, they did that with Scarlet and Violet to justify why there's so many glitches and issues within the game. But that's just their way of saying, nope, we know that we didn't give it enough time, but you should enjoy it anyway because we already got your money, so deal with it. I gotta relax, this is starting to make me really dramatic. Anyway, the long and short of it is, they don't care about immersion, they care about time and money. It's very frustrating to me, but something I'm gonna have to deal with because I can't imagine us getting voice acting in Pokemon games anytime soon. However though, a man can dream, and I really do believe that voice acting could be a big help for this series. Having some kind of voice acting for at least the important moments within a story help give them emotion and make them more memorable. In Pokemon's case, a lot of the cutscenes that we've gotten, at least in the previous two games in my opinion, have made me remember them for all of the wrong reasons. I really truly did want to feel more emotion during that cutscene where Arvin finally got Mabistiff back on its feet after feeding it all of that Herba Mystica. However, instead I just remember it being just another cutscene with good music in the background and really awkward silence. And while I do believe that the final cutscenes involving Android Professor are really well animated and well done, it's missing voice acting. That's all I'm going to think about is the fact that it would have been perfect with actual voice acting, or at the very least, maybe some robot noises or so just something. It's missing that. So when it gets down to the nitty gritty, I want voice acting, and I know a lot of you guys don't want that, but I personally think it can help the series in a very big way. There have been many a times where a pre-established series has added voice acting and it's been received relatively well. And just generally speaking, it makes more memorable moments that you can't get all the time from just reading text. So, in my personal opinion, I really could see that working out very well in Pokemon's favor if they were to take that step. Hmm, but Soul, just because it worked out for other series doesn't mean that it's gonna work out the exact same way for Pokemon! Okay, well then, in my defense, the exact same argument can be utilized. Because it worked for other pre-established series, I think that it could be a good example of how it could work well for Pokemon. I mean, look at Breath of the Wild for Shinx's sake. They did an absolutely splendid job in picking out voices for those characters, and going forward, it's very hard for me to imagine them not having that. Persona is a prime example as well. In the first two games, it was mostly text, but then three and on, they added some serious voice acting. Now we can't see the series without it because it works so well. 
I've noticed I've referenced Persona a lot, but uh, if you're new here, get used to it. <laughs> but either way, that's just my take on things. Anyway, the long and short of it is, yeah, I've definitely established that I'm on the side of folks that absolutely believe that Pokemon needs voice acting. <laughs> you know, during the handheld era, it was fine to, you know, not have that, but now that the series has evolved this far, it's gone too far without it. So, going forward, if they truly believe that voice acting does take away from the immersion and the fun from investing our time into this world that they've developed, then they do not have a single excuse to have any other problem that does the exact same thing. Alright, so I think that just about wraps up this one. I felt that this was a good topic to do post-game because, you know, we talked about everything in the game so far and what it has to offer as is. So now going forward, I want to start talking about what the game could have been and what it could be regarding, you know, DLC and things like that. And, you know, what it could have been with, you know, voice acting and things like that. I have a lot of topics and stuff like that to go over, but for now... What are y'all thinking? Hmm? I see that mic in your hand. You already know the drill. What are we talking about here? How are you guys feeling about this topic in particular? Are you on the side that doesn't want voice acting? Are you on the side that does want voice acting? Did any of my opinions make sense? Am I absolutely talking out of my ass here? You guys let me know in the comment section below because you know for a fact that I am always, always down there with you guys. But with that, it's skedaddle o'clock time. I would like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And with that, I'm Gonzo. Thanks again, hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Do me the greatest favor of taking good ass care and I'll see you all next time.